We are saying goodbye to 2016 with a look at the year's biggest wildlife news. From baby booms to heartbreaking extinctions, it's all coming up in this special edition of Two Minute Roundup. Starting off in India, where a WWF report on increasing tiger numbers came under fire. The report found that tiger numbers are on the rise, with the population on track to double within a decade, but top biologists claim the data is skewed. Better tracking methods mean that tigers in undocumented areas have now been identified, potentially accounting for the seemingly higher numbers. Tigers continue to face threats such as habitat loss and poaching, and the species is still vulnerable to extinction. There is no controversy surrounding this kakapo baby boom. 2016 was a great year for the flightless birds, marking their best breeding season in two decades. 37 little kakapo chicks survived, and that's cause for celebration. Found only in remote parts of New Zealand, these charismatic birds are critically endangered. From birds to bears with this conservation success story, giant panda populations are on the rebound. Previously endangered, efforts to protect the animal are finally paying off and they are now listed on the IUCN Red List as vulnerable. Populations have steadily increased thanks to a decline in poaching and stringent habitat protections. And a lifeline for the world's most trafficked animal with CITES, a global wildlife summit, declaring a total ban on trade in all eight species of pangolins. More than a million wild pangolins have been killed in the last decade to feed demand for their meat and scales, and this is an important step in saving these endangered creatures. Off to Africa with some fascinating new findings on giraffes. Previously classified as one species, it turns out that the world's tallest animals are actually four genetically distinct species. Giraffe numbers have plummeted over the last 15 years by a staggering 40%, so knowing as much as possible about these giants will help conservation efforts. Experts say that even just naming the species may put pressure on governments to allocate resources to help the struggling animals. On to Abu Dhabi, where a mysterious Arabian sand cat has been spotted on camera for the first time in 10 years. Sightings of these elusive felines are rare, and it's hard to know exactly how the cats are faring, so any new data on these unique desert dwellers is incredibly valuable. From the good news to the bad news, with the death of Tuffy, the Rab's tree frog. The tiny frog, originally from Panama, was the last of his kind and had spent the last few years at the Atlanta Botanical Garden. His death means that the species is now extinct. 2016 saw another sad death in the animal world, Hope the baby rhino. Hope made headlines back in May after being left with a terrible wound on her face due to a botched poaching attempt. After undergoing many procedures, including surgery normally performed on humans, she was thought to be on the mend, but succumbed to a bacterial infection. Her ordeal made Hope the poster child in the fight against rhino poaching. And the US now has not one, but two jaguars roaming its lands. El Jefe, the bear hunting jaguar, and previously the only known wild jaguar in the US, now has a neighbor. A second jaguar was spotted in Arizona's Huachuca mountain range on a trail cam, and after careful scrutiny, wildlife officials believe it is in fact a new male. Rounding off with this incredible fossil find. Part of the tail of a feathered dinosaur was recently discovered in a chunk of 99 million year old amber. Researchers suspect the fossil comes from a non-bird dinosaur, making it the first of its kind discovered in amber. That's it for this week and this year. Here's hoping that 2017 is filled with even more exciting wildlife news. And as always, we've got you covered at earthtouchnews.com. Here's wishing you all a very happy new year.